Hi, this is James Wine. It's James the Wine Guy here to talk about Caneros, AVA, also known as Los Caneros. That's its formal name. Now, Los Caneros is a um, Spanish word for the Rams, and it's more commonly called Caneros, though more correct is Los Caneros, the article plus the noun. Now, this is a wine country that is known for Pinot Noir. It's known for Chardonnay. So you have a good example here of this wine, Domaine Caneros, and I'll just show you this label up close. Now, this is a wine that is it says Caneros Sparkling Wine. Now this is a bottle of Visa Tui. This is a Los Caneros Pinot Noir Napa Valley. Now that's a it's a, probably the, the most accurate way of saying this wine region. And I think it's fascinating that it straddles two political regions, that is Napa County, Sonoma County. It's often more associated with Napa County, though most of it is resident in Sonoma County. This is a few kilometers off the San Pablo Bay really perfect for Pinot Noir and other varietals as well. So it's going to get a lot of cool breezes, daytime and especially evening time. Now this is a wine region that is not just producing Pinot Noir and Chardonnay, which is really, you know, it's calling card, shall we say. It's growing other things as well. It's growing Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon. It's growing Sauvignon Blanc, Pinot Meunier, Nebbiolo, uh, Barbera, uh, Zinfandel. So everything from A to Z, from Albarino to Zinfandel. And uh, fantastic wines. Like I think the signature for Zinfandel is really unique, as well as the Merlot grape, which is uh, probably a little more often found than, say, the Cabernet Sauvignon. Tempranillo is also grown here, which is also a really important factoid because when you think of Tempranillo, you think of a hot, hot region. And this is really indicative of, say, Rioja, which is not always a hot, hot region in Spain, but gets some cool Atlantic influences. So it's actually a perfect run region for Tempranillo. It's a really nice region. It's grown and uh, uh, approved in 1983. However, in 1942, you roll back just a few decades and find Louis M. Martini, the wine producer, by Stanley Ranch. He converts it over to winemaking capability, so plants wine grapes. And from that point forward comes the story. We advance fast forward to today, which is 6,000 acres or approximately 2,400 hectares. And it's a, a region that is really, it was the first to come to both uh, straddle two political regions. It's also one of the first to be for cool region Pinot Noir in California. And somehow, if you think about it, how could we have done without it? How could have this been Pinot Noir, for example, planted in the Central Valley? Well, it was. And that was not the optimum growing region. So it actually predates uh, Russian River Valley, Santa Lucia Highlands, uh, Santa Rita Hills, Anderson Valley. Um, it predates in terms of the predominant region was Caneros. And fast forward a few decades later, you find it growing in these other regions as well. So the expanse of space is absolutely beautiful. It's stunning. It's very different than if you go up northern part of Sonoma County or Napa County. Um, lots of expansive panoramas that just go on for miles and miles and kilometers and kilometers. And it's absolutely stunningly gorgeous. And so you get a different pictorial um, view of it by just visiting. So a place to visit might be uh, Domaine Caneros or Bouchain, which I think is really nice. It's on the southern edge, uh, close to Domaine Caneros, and a, a beautiful place to just go and just kind of be with the landscape and, and really understand and uh, delve into it. It's going to be markedly different, and it's a place that unfortunately people zoom by. They're in a rush to get to Napa County, which is in the heart of Napa County. They're, they're looking for maybe Stag's Leap, or maybe they're looking for Rutherford. For a variety of reasons, they're just running through this area, and in some ways, it's nice to sit down and smell the wine. And that's what this region is all about. So I'll just here's a little map here of this region. And you can see here that Sonoma County is really the predominant region, and then Napa County east of here is um, the smaller land mass to this AVA. And um, I definitely recommend the visit. Give it a try. Uh, it's, it's just really where, when you think of Napa Valley Chardonnay, it's probably Caneros. It may not be marked as such, but probably everything you, you're going to see is from this wine region. Really recommend a visit. Go, be, go to Napa. Go to Sonoma. Definitely spend some time in Caneros. And it's one that I think over time, a lot of other regions have uh, you know, come about, have developed, and that's a great thing. But also, this is the homage to a really great, genuine growing area. For more reviews, please go to jamesthewineguy.com. Please subscribe to my videos. Please get, follow me on Twitter. I'm on Facebook, and I'm also on Flickr. Salud.